Okay, you see, again, two very similar sequences. <coughs> We've been asked to find the next two terms and a formula for the nth term. So if you look at this first sequence, from 2 to 6, I can add 4, but that's not going to work here. Or I could multiply by 3. 6 times 3 is 18. Uh, 18 times 3, well, 3 8s are 24, and 3 tens are 30, so that works. So it looks like a geometric progression. So when a geometric sequence is defined in two, so it's a geometric sequence, or GP, geometric progression, with U1 equals 2 and R equals 3. Right, so all I need to do to get the next two terms is just, you're just going to multiply by 3, and you're going to multiply by 3. So that is going to give you 54 times 3. Well, 50 times 3 is 150. 4 times 3 is 12. 50 plus 12 is 162. And the next term after that is going to be 162 times 3. Well, 3 16s are 48. So 360s must be 480. 3 twos are 6. So I reckon it's 4. Eight, six. Right, so that's the next two terms out of the way. <clears throat> then the formula for the formula for the nth term, the one, and you're not going to get it in your formula sheet, but you need to remember un equals u1 times r to the power n minus 1. This is the by far the most common, and it's useful. You'll definitely use it in your IB, so it's a good formula to remember. So we already have u1. We already have R, so you literally so UN equals U1, well U1 is 2, times R, R is 3, to the power N minus 1. And that's it. It looks like it's not finished. It looks like maybe you can do other things with it. There is absolutely no need. Um, if I asked you to do more things with this, you would be able to. Hopefully, if I said, what's the hundredth term? You could just substitute 100 in there, for example. If I asked you when is what's the first term that's bigger than 400, you could probably solve something there. You've got everything you need to do things with it. But for now, that's the question. This one here is almost the same sequence, but you recognise that actually there's a three in there. But for the times two to minus, I'm going to need I'm going to need a negative as well. So I times by minus three, which does look to work. Minus six times minus three. Is 18. 18 times minus 3 is 54, and so on. You're going to be times minus 3 times minus 3. So again, this is a GP geometric progression with u1 equals 2 and r equals minus 3. So next two terms is going to be minus 54. What is that? Minus 54 times minus 3. Well, I'm going to use my uh, 162 and a minus times a minus it is 162 again so that's one of the terms 162 times minus 3 was going to be 486 but negative so they are the next two terms <coughs> un is still u1 times r to the power n minus 1 so in this case it's 2 u1 was 2 times r minus 3, you're going to need a bracket to the power n minus 1, because we're raising minus 3 to that power. 